here. I am ready to show you another math work. Like all the other videos in this uh, playlist, I'll begin by demonstrating how to use the material you would find in the classroom. In that case today, it's going to be the Montessori Division Board. And then afterwards, I will demonstrate how you could use the printable version of it at your house. Um, parents, uh, students alike, you can find the charts, the equations, any of the things I reference that you'll have at home. You can find that either in the Dropbox folder that I've already shared with you, or you can find the links directly in the information section of this video. Um, like all of the other memory math works, it's going to be really important that each problem you see, say, and write. Because again, what the brain practices, the brain learns. So let's look at this division board. <clears throat> Alright, so our division board has the numbers 1 through 9 up here in green. This is where our divisor will be. Going down the side, we also have 1 through 9. That will help us figure out what our answer or the quotient is. Um, we will also be using some greedy green goblins or skittles. Those will be our divisor. And then we have 81 units, which we will use as our dividend. <clears throat> In the classroom, we would use a recording sheet that looks just like this. And normally, I would demonstrate a wow or an impressionistic presentation of this material. But today, I'm just going to jump in with the first presentation of how the students would use it in the classroom. Um, so we are going to look at the dividend 24. 24. So I'm going to divide 24 by 9, by 8, by 7, by 6, by 5, by 4, by 3, by 2, <clears throat> and I'm going to try it by 1. And we're going to see how it goes. So I just went ahead and recorded my dividend on each of those lines there. Now the first step I need to do is I need to count out 24 units. So I'm going to put the ones I'm going to use directly in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. <clears throat> All right. So this is my dividend, and I'm going to start by dividing it by 9. So my divisor will be 9. So I will put 9 greedy green goblins on the board. And once I have completed that, then I will start my division. All right, I'm going to start dividing. Now these greedy green goblins, they may be greedy, but they're always fair. So that means each one of them must receive the same, otherwise the division doesn't work. They won't all be happy. So right now they all receive one unit, thus they're all happy. Let's keep our division. Keep on dividing. One unit there. One unit for you, and you, and you, oops, and you. All right, they've all received a second unit, and it is fair. We still have some of our dividend left to keep on dividing. Ooh, I'm out of my dividend. I have no more that I can divide. But I still have three goblins that didn't receive any, so that's not fair. So those ones are going to come back up here. All right, now the answer or the quotient in division is what one unit receives. And in this case, one unit receives two. So 
I will record two in my quotient. 24 divided by nine is two. And did I have any units remaining that I couldn't divide? Yes, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six remaining. So my first equation will look like this. 24 divided by nine equals two with the remainder of six. All right, now I'm gonna move on and divide by eight. So I will, well, I guess I can keep those on there, right? Because <clears throat> I know they all receive two. Well, let's go ahead and do another round of dividing. And let's see if we can do a division where they will all be satisfied. Oh, I divide and I used up all of my beads evenly and it, every greedy green goblin received one. And the answer in division is what one unit receives. And one unit received three when I divided 24 by eight. So I come back here, 24 divided by eight equaled three, and I had zero remaining, just like that. Now, since that one resulted in a quotient with zero of a remainder, I'm gonna circle in red this equation, because that 24 divided by eight equals three, that's a math fact. <clears throat> All right, now I need to divide by seven. So one greedy green goblin will go away, and I need to take these back off the board. <clears throat> All right, so 24 divided by seven. Let's see if I can divide these units. Ooh, I don't have enough, it's not fair. So these three will go back. And my answer in division is still what one unit receives. So when 24 is divided by seven, one unit receives three. And I had one, two, three remaining. So there we go. 24 divided by seven, three with a remainder of three. We have a remainder, so it's not a math fact. Now we're gonna divide by six. All right, let's begin our division. Ooh, I divided and used all of my units and they all, uh, each <coughs> greedy green goblin received one and so it was fair. So the answer in division is what one unit receives. One unit receives four. So 24 divided by six was four with zero remaining because that was a math fact. I'm going to circle it and we know it's a math fact when it has zero remaining. All right, and now I'd go on to five and see how it goes. Not fair. So 24 divided by four, one unit receives four. The answer is four, and we have a remainder of four. All right, now we'll do 24 divided by four. All right, we'll start our division. Oh, I divided and it turned out that each greedy green goblin received the same, so it's fair. One unit received six. So 24 divided by four is six with a remainder of zero. Zero for a remainder, that means this is a math fact. So I'll circle it in red. That bottom one, 24 divided by four equals six. On to the next, 24 divided by three. All right, we'll start our division. Ooh, all right. Same thing, I divided it and it turned out even. So the answer is what one unit receives. 24 divided by three is eight with zero remaining. And what do you know, we have another 
math fact. This one has a lot of math facts. Oops, my screen just went to sleep. All right, so 24 divided by 3 is 8. Now we'll go down to 2. All right. Oh, I cannot complete this equation on this board because I've run out of space. If you would like to on your own, though, you could continue the division below, giving two to each. Something like this, if you're really invested in it. And if you continue it down, you see that each unit receives 9, 10, 11, 12. So 24 divided by 2, that answer is 12 with 0 remaining. So you could go ahead and write that one down. It's not something you would typically do on this board, but for those of you who are interested. And then, last but certainly not least, 24 divided by 1. Well... I would, I could, then, again, continue laying this out. I know that since this is the only greedy green goblin, it's going to receive each one. Perhaps you already know what the answer is, because you know how many beads are in this container. But it doesn't hurt to lay them all out. All right, so 24 divided by 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 divided by 1, 24 with 0 remaining. Again, not a fact that you're often going to see, but a fact nonetheless. 24 divided by 1 is 24. All right, and that is our unit division board that you would find in the classroom. Now let me demonstrate what you have in well, you, what you have at home. So first, I'll restore my material, just like I know you are doing at home, because before you can finish a work and move on to the next one, you always have to restore your workspace. All right, putting these items off to the side, and now, What you have is a unit division board at home. Again, one through nine along the top, and these little circles for your greedy green goblins or whatever you have at home. And then down the side, also one through nine, just like you had on our board. And then <clears throat> the first sheet will have the exact same problems and sheet that I demonstrated in the classroom. When you print it, there's one, two, three, four of them. And then, when we get to the other side, there are um, all prepared equations for you. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do some of these prepared equations, and then you'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start with this 9. This first one says 45 divided by 9. So, you probably don't have green units at home, but you might have popcorn kernels, you might have dried beans, either one will work. And you probably don't have greedy green goblins at home, but maybe you have erasers, maybe you have something small that you can use to represent your divisor. So in this case, I need 45 dividends. So I'm going to count out 45 popcorn kernels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to group them in 10 so it'll be easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so there's my dividend of 45. And my divisor is going to be right here, 9. So I'll use 9 
erasers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, now I can start my division. And just like on the board, I'll put one of my popcorn kernels or my beans in each of these squares, just like you would have put in one of those spots on the board. All right, my greedy green goblins are very fair. They all receive one. So far, so good. And I'll keep on dividing. Now I'm going to try to go slow enough that my kernels don't kernels or beans or whatever you're using don't roll around but stay in that square. All right, so far divided by 2, it, it's all even. Each greedy green goblin is content. Cuz even though they're greedy, they are fair. So far they all receive 3, still even. All right, divided by four, they all receive four. All right, we're getting towards the end. Oh, yes, I used them all. And each greedy green goblin received the same number and they each received five. So the answer in division is what one unit receives. So one unit receives five, so 49 divided by nine equals five with the remainder of zero. And I would go ahead and I'd finish all of these facts with nine. And then the next one, we'll have all of the facts with the divisor eight, and then seven, and then six. And then there's another sheet with five, and four, and three, and two, and one with one, and even one with 10. Now, once you've completed all of those, and if you're really feeling up for a challenge, there is also a sheet with all of the equations and their answers. And you could also go ahead and practice these. All right. And that is the unit division board. All right. I showed that kind of quickly. Um, there's a lot of steps, though. So if you get stuck, come back to this video. Keep your material out in front of you at home and go along with me. Let's say you're trying to do one of the prepared equations and you're getting stuck. Turn on the video, move forward to the part where I'm talking about how to do it at home, and then I'll do step one, hit pause on the video. You do step one, hit play again. Watch me do step two, hit pause on the video. You do step two, resume the video, watch step three, pause the video, you do step three, and go together with me. That way it could be just like I'm there to give you some assistance. If that still doesn't work, you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to record another presentation just for you. All right, that's the division board. Happy dividing.